Whenever we publish a video on this channel, it is expected that there will be a few negative comments. Some disagree with some things in the video, while some even think the whole video is stupid. One other type of comments are comments insinuating that the rich are going to hellfire. About two days ago, a man commented on our video which was titled, The Five Types of Books Every Rich Person Reads. His comment was something like, they will also read when they get to hell. <laughs> what does that mean? Is it a scene to be wealthy? Or that you can't be rich and still be a follower of Christ? In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to become a millionaire as a true Christian. If you're new here, you may consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Money is righteous. When I was growing up, there used to be a proverb in my culture that says, wealth is suspicious. The meaning of that proverb is that when you see a rich person, don't envy him because he must have done evil things to make all the money he has. When children grow up in an environment where money and the rich are considered to be evil, why wouldn't they grow up to assume that all the rich are going to hellfire? The biggest problem in the world when it comes to money is that most people don't have any idea of how money has been made. If you have the understanding about money and how it's been made, then you'll understand that nobody has to do evil to become rich. You can be holy, righteous and wealthy. And why do I think so? Well, money comes out of responsibility and nothing else. Rich people are people who take responsibility in their generation. These people can allow their passion to make them do evil along the line, but you don't necessarily have to do evil. Take for instance, when I was growing up, I heard so many people complaining about unemployment and poverty in my country. Because of these two major problems, almost everyone I knew wanted to emigrate from my country, but I had a different idea. If there is high unemployment in my country, then that's a problem. What if I learned how to create jobs? I studied entrepreneurship and learned how to build a business. Today, I have a business that gives jobs to other people and that's the reason why I'm richer than most people. If you want to be rich, it's very simple. Take responsibility for your generation. Don't just complain about what is wrong. Look for what you can make right. By taking responsibility, you'll seek to solve problems for others and by doing so, you'll naturally become wealthy. If you understand this process, you would not think that being rich has to be evil. Sin and Money I get it, it's easier to be evil while running after money, but all of us eventually run after money. If you wake up every morning to run into a particular office where you're paid to work, you're under the temptation to sin because someone can ask you to do what is not lawful or righteous and since such person pays you, you may be forced to do it. Now, about being an entrepreneur and being very rich, yes, there are temptations too, but the temptation to do evil is not higher because you want to be an entrepreneur. The popular evil. Generally, I believe that every human does wrong things at one point in their life or another. What I also believe is that most poor people do evil things as much as the rich. For instance, Many lawyers are deceptive, many doctors lie, and even teachers, drivers or construction workers do cheat. But because these people are not famous, their scenes can be in the news. But when Jeff Bezos and or Elon Musk does what is wrong, then the entire social media and front pages of the newspaper make noise about them. Every wrong thing any famous person does makes the headlines. And that is why it's easier to believe that they are much evil than the rest of us. No, they are not. The difference is the camera. You can do wrong things without CNN knowing or caring about it. I can do evil things without it going viral on social media. And because your scenes are not public, and we are much likely to think that those people whose scenes are in public are worse than me and you. But that's not true. Becoming a millionaire as a true Christian as you guess, I'm a Christian and I believe that true Christians can become rich and remain children of God. As a Christian, the things I do to keep my faith and be rich are 1. I look for opportunities to create wealth. To start with, I don't think that it's a sin to be rich. I only believe that, like extreme poverty, 
wealth comes with some temptations. I learned how money works by reading books and take massive actions to build businesses. I pray to God, but I also expect much from myself in terms of discipline, actions, and focus. I don't expect things to be easy for me because I am a Christian. Instead, I stand up whenever I fall and try again. 2. I always remind myself that I have an invisible lover. Yes, that's Jesus. I don't want to do anything to hurt him and by reminding myself that he watches me every second, I can avoid common evil among people who desire to be rich. 3. My dream isn't to become a millionaire. Well, I can become a millionaire or even a billionaire, but that's not my dream. My dream is to contribute and make my world a better place. And yes, my dream is to be very comfortable financially. I don't think that I have to become a billionaire or even a millionaire before I can be happy or fulfilled. But I won't think it's a scene to become one also. The problem about setting a goal to become a millionaire is that the goal becomes your focus and that can lead you into doing anything, even wrong things to get to that goal. Don't set the goal of becoming the richest man in the world. Yes, the richest man in the world can be a true Christian, but if that is your goal, then you might sacrifice everything else to get there. But if your goal is to serve humanity and make the world a better place, you can do that with a pure conscience and eventually become a millionaire or even a billionaire. 4. Say no to ugly deals. This follows the point above. Since my primary goal isn't to become a billionaire, it's pretty easy for me to say no to any ugly deal, even if such business deals promise to make me a lot of money. You see, you can make all the money you'll ever need righteously. If you'll have to do evil to add one million dollars to your net worth, well, it doesn't worth it. 5. Treat people well. I just hired someone in my company this morning and one of the first things I told him is that I don't like to treat people like an employee and that's the truth. Though the business world is tough, you can also be tough and be nice at the same time. You can be tough without treating people like your servants. You can get a result and be nice at the same time. 6. Don't be materialistic. Most people want to be rich because they want to drive Ferraris and Lamborghinis. If driving the most expensive cars is the reason why you want to be rich in the first place, you're pursuing money for the wrong reason. Yes, you need to make yourself happy, but when your happiness depends on buying the most expensive things, then you'll need more and more and more money to keep up and because you'll always need more money, you'll be tempted to do anything to get such money even the wrong things. If you're a Christian, this is my advice to you. Don't think it is evil to have money because it is not. In fact, you'll face more temptations to do wrong things as a poor person than as a rich person. But there are also a few problems. 1. Money is power. An abuse of power is very easy as a human. 2. If your most important goal is to become a billionaire, then you'll lose sight of the real thing and focus on money, which means that you'll be willing to do anything for money, including the wrong things. 3. If you allow money to intoxicate you, you'll lose respect for other people who are not as rich as you are, and this will mean that your money is becoming the instrument of sin for you. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Do you love to start your day with high energy? Then we invite you to join our new channel which was designed to give you daily inspirational videos that will help you to become a high achiever. We call it Inspiration Tube. Look at the description box to join the Inspiration Tube. We love you.